This is meteorologist Sean Polis of the National Weather Service Office in Paducah, Kentucky. The purpose of this video is to highlight the August 21st climatology for our area. As many of you are aware of, this is the date of the total solar eclipse. Unfortunately, we can't give you a detailed weather forecast out that far, but we can show you what is typical for that time of year and also what has been observed in the recent past. This first slide shows you daily normals and records for August 21st at three locations in our area. Paducah and Hopkinsville, Kentucky, and Carbondale, Illinois. We chose these stations because they are all in the direct path of totality and all have a long period of record. As you can see, the normal high is typically around 90 degrees, normal lows in the mid-60s, but daytime temperatures have been as warm as the low 100s, and nighttime lows have been as cold as the upper 40s to low 50s. The wettest August 21st on record has all occurred within the past seven years at these three locations. And the percentage of years with rain on this day varies from 13% in Paducah to 29% in Carbondale. And this is because summer rainfall is typically associated with thunderstorms and is very sporadic in nature and doesn't fall evenly. This slide shows you the weather over the past 10 years at these locations. The last two years have actually been relatively cool compared to normal only in the low 80s. And Paducah and Carbondale both haven't seen measurable rain in the past six years, although Hopkinsville saw some rain last year on August 21st. The bottom table show the percentage of the daylight hours that have observed cloud cover at Paducah and Carbondale over the past 10 years, generally ranging, uh, averaging around 20 to 30%, but no higher than 50% coverage. Digging even deeper, we looked at every August day over the past 10 years to determine the percentage of cloud cover observed for each day. As evident by the tables, we tend to have a fair amount of sunshine in August, which makes sense because it is our driest month of the year. However, it is noteworthy to mention that this data doesn't include cloud cover above 12,000 feet, which means the numbers are skewed toward less cloud cover compared to what is actually observed due to higher level clouds. Having said all of this though, if you had to choose a time of the year for a solar eclipse on our region, August is one of the best times to have one. Here's to hoping for plenty of blue sky on August 21st this year for the viewing of the eclipse.